<laughs> All right, we're at the base of Stavanger uh, Pulpit Rock. This is Bjorn, our guide. He's going to be hiking up with us. This is going to be on my YouTube, Royal Caribbean Cruise Chronicles. Cool. So we will, uh, it's rainy. So we'll see you up on the trail. All right, here's the first part of the climb with the steps built by the Sherpas in 2017. Here on the way up to Pulpit Rock. So far, the first part was steep. It's drizzling, heavy, cold, cloudy, foggy. We will continue. Okay, there is some open parts. It's like a little prairie up here on the top. As you can see, we got a little bit of a break. A little bit of a mountain stream here. I try to avoid the people with the walking sticks. Because they don't go as fast as me. So it's a good chance to catch our breath. And you see lots of Glacial eroded granite, mostly highly weathered. See some glacial erratics, probably from uh, avalanche. All right, let's continue the ascent up to the rock. Still wet, still drizzling. Some place it seems to stop drizzling. Hmm. Our first sign of some view in the distance. Still a lot of fog, not a whole lot to see. stair stepping the natural formation <laughs> still not a lot to see Foggy everywhere. Right now my head is down. Just looking at the trail. Still pacing myself. the first opening part there's a little overlook there but it's all fog you can't see anything so get a little break here we have rounded glacial glacial eroded granite smooth oops sorry more steps and pathways. Lots of water as you can see. You definitely need waterproof shoes here. Alright. That first 
part was pretty steep, but it was a good warm up. Looks like you have a lot of granite here, some metamorphics. I would recommend ankle length hiking shoes. Waterproof, rain poncho. I have a garbage bag thickness rain poncho, but maybe a little thicker, like a real rain poncho would be okay. There's some water. This part isn't too bad. We got a little bit of a break. Here's some more glacially smooth granites. I would like to think that I can move up this in about an hour and a half time. It's now 9.51 in the morning and 12.30 is when we have to turn around. So hopefully I'll have at least 30 minutes up there. Okay, that's, we'll come back for now. We've been at it for, let's see, over an hour. Look at this beautiful view. Even though it's foggy, it's still a beautiful view. This big U-shaped valley. Onward. Onward and upward. More steps to climb. And those people need to keep moving. Oh, this is where people put locks on this gate, chain link for some reason. I don't know why, maybe that's for good luck. For good luck? Yeah, maybe. It's a chain of locks. Alright, we've got another little overlook here. an interesting thing. People put these locks here. I don't know what they do. It's all the way up here. Maybe that's for good luck. I don't know. Okay, we keep going here. Get one more, one more view of this. We're not even at Pulpit Rock yet. for good luck. All right. Sorry to digress. Let's 
just keep moving. Right, we're got to be getting close to the top. I was just at one of the edges here. And it's straight down. It's straight down. I think I see the, the rock over there. It's still drizzling. All right, I'm gonna take you up the rest of the way. I don't have my selfie stick on, so I'm just kind of hanging on to the phone. It's straight down. We're not quite to the actual pulpit rock yet. But when I get up to the top, I will get the selfie stick. Look at that. That's straight down. Straight down. Okay. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Whoa. Okay, check that out. Wow. We made it. We made it to Pulpit Rock. And as you can see, you see, long way down. All right, we're we're on our descent from Pulpit Rock. It's still chilly. It's actually cooler up here, but we are heading back, and it might be. 15 minutes faster going down. But that's it. You have to be very careful on the rocks. That's beautiful. Now you got a really nice view of the valley over here. That's beautiful. We'll keep it rolling here for a few minutes. It's windy up here. Gotta be very, very careful of the rocks. Got good hiking shoes on. And we will take a look at that ca uh, chasm over here in a minute. The wind has certainly picked up up here and it looks like I got some something on my lens. There we go. A little better. Look at this. It's so beautiful here. It's chilly though. Let's go. All right, we're up here by the, the locks. There's a little chain here. Let me see if I can show it to you. And there's a bunch of locks. I guess they put them there for good luck. But there's locks all over there. But here is the waterfall behind me. It's just beautiful.
Well, we made it back to the bottom of Pulpit Rock. And we're sitting here at the Mountain Lodge. But we made it back. It was an hour and maybe 25 minutes to get down, hour and 20. And probably took me an hour and 40 to get up. And uh, walked about six miles total. So we had rain, it was chilly, light rain and heavy drizzle. We didn't have a lot of clear views up at the top, but we got we got up there and, and back. Um, one of the things, uh, some of the recommendations I have, this was through the ship, this was through a ship excursion. Uh, it was called Adventure Hike to Pulpit Rock. It's pretty much on your own. I don't recommend small kids. I don't recommend if you have problems with your knees or back. If you're not fit, it's a very strenuous climb. However, I did see a lot of little kids and average people and dogs. Some people had hiking, walking sticks. I don't think they help much here because there's a lot of uneven surfaces. I recommend waterproof hiking boots with ankle height, good comfortable ones. And of course, a rain poncho and layers. Bring water, bring snacks if you want. There's no food. I see people eating up on the top of the thing. I didn't bring any food at all because I ate a good breakfast. And, but, and that's it from the base of the Pulpit Rock. This is the, I guess it's a restaurant in here, lodge or something. I don't know. Maybe a museum. Well, once again, thanks for watching. And please, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel so you can catch all the things that I'm posting live and videos coming from another Royal Caribbean cruise ship near you. Peace out.